Hey, what is up guys? H Masters here. Today, taking a look at a custom LEGO Batman movie stand here that I made for the battling. This is fairly simple design, and the main reason I made this was because, if you remember from my review, which if you haven't, you should probably watch it because it will give a lot more context as to why I felt the need to make the stand. But you remember that I felt that this set would hugely benefit from having a stand, and I said that I'd make one, and here we are with this stand that I made. Now this stand's a fairly simple design, but there are some little features that I did put in there, which I'll show you guys now. And first off, let's just take a look at the stand by itself without the Batwing on it. So the stand itself is a fairly simple thing. You can obviously tell that I used a bunch of studs all over here, and the main reason I did that was just because, you know, for one, it fits with the color scheme, you know, black and yellow for Batman, but also because on the bottom of the, uh, the Batwing there are yellow sort of like propulsion so I thought that it'd be kind of cool if I threw those in to kind of convey uh, light coming out from it flying so I threw those on the bottom to add a little more detail and you can you know obviously tell all around the sort of like perimeter of this thing I have studs just everywhere going in this pattern which to me it looks fine you know other people will make different stands which are probably far more complicated than this one and they'll have way different designs but this is the one I went with you can also see that I do have these uh, just smooth tile pieces on the top to sort of round out the edges there a little bit and looking at it from the top view you can see even more studs because you know you gotta have all the studs you know I obviously had a ton of uh, transdale studs to work with and I did make decent use of them here but yeah you can mainly see right here the attachment point. Uh, it's a fairly simple attachment point. We have just different sizes of technical lift arms here because uh, when I experimented with it, it's a lot more back heavy than it is front heavy. So you want to have it more back here where it's uh, angling a lot more there to give it more support from the back. So I did do that. But you can see that there's a giant sort of giant Technic gear here. And the main reason for that is that this actually does rotate, which the main reason this came about was one of the people in the comment section of my review told me that this would be something to do. And I thought it was a really good idea, so I did put that in here. You can see the way it works, fairly simple. You just move it like this. And it moves fairly well, you know, you can get decent poses here from it. It's, you know, not the best impl or the best sort of uh, adaption of it but is it is what it is you know it works well you can go all 360 degrees and you can get all the sort of posability from being able to rotate around which is cool you can also see in the stand that the two Technic lift arms here are posable so you can move it down which will angle it a little bit differently and you can also move it up which will give it even other uh, angles and then you can just have it centered you know there are certain things you can do just different posabilities now one of the things you probably noticed when you looked at the connection point for the stand is that this actually uses, for one, a normal sort of brick that just has a normal tiling, but one of them is actually a jumper plate, and there is a reasoning for this. The reason I decided to attach it this way was because when I originally went designing this, I wanted to attach it, as you can see in this gray uh, 2x4 piece, but that wasn't quite as good because um, it's you know a lot more back heavy, so I just moved it down two studs and connected it using the jumper piece to one of those orange studs and then of course to that gray piece I was speaking about just a little bit earlier and that allows it to balance easily and pretty much perfectly you can see it connects pretty well you know it's not too bad to connect it although it's not the easiest thing in the world it's not too bad to connect it and then after that you get all the functionality from the stand and with the back wing on the stand I think it looks pretty good you still of course have that functionality of being able to rotate it like this which works perfectly fine you can just you know move it around if you want to you can move in more you know different angles different things you can now use this function and have the gun straight but if you want to you could um you can move it like here something like that you can move it there different different functionalities you can do you know you you have the same options however you're no longer limited to uh different things because it's on a stand instead of just stuck on the ground and of course you also have the function with the stand where you can move it down like this so you can have it you know angling down you could move it up like this so you can have the upward angle or you could have it just centered in the middle more like this which works you know decently well i haven't quite figured out a way to get enough friction so i can't you know stop it from falling down like this there's probably just a simpler way like if you if you really want to have it like angling down halfway like this uh, what I would recommend is putting some bricks 
over there in between so that way you could just automatically stop technic lift arms or whatever you want to use to actually um uh, stop them falling down but that is pretty much it for my custom made stand here for the batwing overall i'm pretty happy with it you know there's obviously different things you can do this is a more basic stand you know it's nothing really crazy the most really you know huge features here is that it does have the rotation ability and you can adjust the stand a little bit but overall it's just not that complicated it's a pretty simple stand but i'm happy with it i think it works well and it works well for displaying and you definitely don't even have to worry about like anything going wrong you know you don't have to worry about it falling off or anything like that it's actually pretty sturdy but yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed look at the stand until next time see you guys later